it's time we talk about Balogun because he's been loaned out by Arsenal and he's been on hot fire form at 21 years old. He's been tearing it up in the French League. I believe he's already scored about 16 goals. Question is, when he returns from loan next season, what's going to happen? Because obviously Arsenal have Gabriel Jesus, who's their main starting striker, and Eddie Nketiah, who's coming to this team um, during his injury. And he's been uh, very good. I think he's done his job perfectly. He's a different type of striker. But the question is, next season, who is Arsenal going to keep? Bolligan or Eddie Nketiah because I don't see Arsenal going into next season with three strikers because there's going to be very unhappy players if you have that many players for a position. So if Gabriel Jesus is going to be that main starting striker, the question is who's going to be that player off the bench that's going to be rotation in cup games in Champions League um, and come in when Jesus has those injuries or, or suspensions or anything like that. And in Ketia, he has performed his job this season, I think, very well. But on the other hand, you have Oligan, who's been excellent in League One. So my question is to Arsenal fans, who would you rather have next season, Oligan or Eddie in Ketia? I think this is a very tough decision because on one hand you have Eddie Nketiah who is 23 years old, you have Bolligan who's 21 years old and performing at an extreme high level. So you would think that Bolligan would have a higher ceiling than Eddie Nketiah. However, Eddie Nketiah has done his job this season perfectly. When Austin have needed him, he has stepped up with Gabriel Jesus out injured. He has come into the team and scored big goals against big teams. So I don't think that Arsenal can uh, next season can just sell Eddie Nketiah and bring uh, Oligan in. However, on the other hand, I don't think that Arsenal can just lose um, Balogun because at 21 years old, it could be uh, come something very big in the future. However, you can also look at it as if they can sell him for 40 or 50 million that money can fund other positions. So there's many different ways that you can look at it. As an Arsenal fan, let me know what you think about the situation. What would you do? In my opinion, I think next season, I would do the exact same thing. I would keep editing Keto notes and I would send Balogun out on loan, maybe to a Premier League team, a team like, uh, I don't know, Crystal Palace and see how he does there. Because if he continues to to do what he has done in, in Uber Eats, in maybe the Premier League, then I think Arsenal will have a really big decision to make. Because if he's developing rapidly, Arsenal will have to keep in and, and maybe it's look to start adding Ketia. Arsenal are starting to have very good problems. Problems that, as a top team, you want to have. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.